Hey, it's Rosemary here. How you doing? Now, the spiritual entrepreneur, you're a maverick, okay? At least the successful ones are. You may learn the foundational knowledge that other trainers and successful business owners teach you, but when it comes down to it, you go your own way. You have the courage to find your own path and stay on course until your heart's desires are materialized. Somehow you find a way to focus on the goals that you want, the desires in your heart, to have faith that they are absolutely coming to pass, and then you act on the intuitive nudges that inevitably appear as you stay connected to source. The thing to realize is that you always know what the next best move is for you and your business. And in fact, you need to understand that your specific path to success has not yet been created. And it's only as you deliberately act on the nudges that you find it. And sometimes that path is to learn something new, Sometimes it's to go completely contrary to everything you've learned and then to find the confidence to trust yourself and this novel path. But, and this is a big one to pay attention to, you just can't keep giving into conditioning, okay? Just because your religious guru said you had to act a certain way doesn't mean you have to act a certain way. Just because people in your family, your town, your networking group, your whatever act a certain way and live to certain rules doesn't mean you go join them. I did say you're a maverick, right? Independent thinker. To get the success you desire, you'll need to act from the heart, and that means stripping off all the rules, the regulations, the traditions, and that will scare you, okay? Your rules, your regulations, your traditions have kept you from having to think for yourself. It felt safe to have these paths to follow, but as I say, the truly successful spiritual entrepreneur is a maverick. <laughs> and that is why they impact the world in ways not previously seen before, okay? Honey, you can go the slow way to success, which is to reason everything out, figure out the whys and the wherefores, read every book out there, go to every seminar teaching, whatever it is you think you need to know next. You can keep adding to your list of all the things that you need to do or you must do in order to succeed, and you create a rod for your own back. Or you can go maverick. You listen to the internal promptings of what you need to do and you act on that. Only work with the person that makes your heart sing. Only read the books that you feel led towards. Only take the actions that bubble up within you. But take every action that bubbles up. This isn't some passive, I'm just going to sit on my awesome ass waiting for a miracle kind of thing. No. You trust that you're taken care of. You trust that you do hear spirit within you. You trust yourself. You trust that you will get all of your heart's desire because it's part of the divine plan for your life and that is why you dream of it. Instead of giving in to the silly and norm-like idea that you must be greedy and selfish to want so much. Write out the vision again. Keep it clear in your mind and get yourself into a high vibe state of possibility. Then act on the nudges that bubble up within you. Act decisively, act fast, act now. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live because you want to. Honey, the Tell Your Story online workshop, it is actually starting tomorrow, so come join in. It's time to learn how to monetize your business by using your story. It's something everyone has, everyone has a story, and it's something that makes you stand out from everyone in your marketplace and who is selling the same stuff that you sell. It's your story that will make you stand out, and I want to show you how to use it to monetize your business. Okay, you can join in right now at rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash tell your story. Until the next time, 